In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a free gift to your Shopify stores to increase your conversion rates. So for example, if we scroll down, you can add a free gift to your product page and a customer can claim their free gift. And once a customer claims their free gift, the free gift will automatically be added to their cart. I'll also be showing you how to set up cart progress bars so you can offer a free gift when a customer spends over a certain amount. So as you can see, if the customer spends 20 pounds, they also get a free gift. And now you can see that if they spend 10 pounds more, they will get free shipping, but you can also make this another free gift. So you can add free gifts to your slider carts and also your product pages in order to increase your conversion rate. And finally, if we click on checkout, you will see that the free gifts are applied to the checkout. So the customer can also see their free gifts in the checkout as well. And again, this is really going to help you to increase your conversion rates. So as you can see in here, we have two free gifts. One is the auto add free gift that you can create. So as soon as a customer clicks add to cart, this product will automatically be added as a free gift. And then we have the cart progress bar free gift. So when a customer spends over a certain amount, they get another free gift. So without keeping you any longer, let's get straight into the tutorial. So in order to add these free gifts to your Shopify store, we will be using this app here called Monk Free Gift Plus Checkout Upsell. I will leave a link in the description so you can get a seven day free trial. And this will allow you to go and create all of the free gifts that I've just shown you. So we are going to click on install on this app and we will click on install again. You will then be brought over to the Monk app dashboard. And from here, we can complete the app setup. So firstly, let's activate the seven day free trial. So we're gonna click on view details and click on activate free trial. And then we can click on approve. Once you have activated the free trial, we can scroll down and we will see set up your first offer funnel. So we can click on browse offers. And the first offer we are going to set up is going to be that cart progress bar so we can add a free gift to the sliding cart. You can also add other things like discounts and free shipping, but we're focusing on free gifts in this tutorial. So we are just going to click on create new. You can give your offer a name. So I'm just gonna call this cart progress bar free gift and click on create. From here, you can set up the offer rules. So these are going to be the rules that trigger the offer so customers can actually see the offer. So as you can see right now, it says show offer if specific product equals anything. So this basically just means that every single customer will see this offer. However, you can go and narrow down the rules if you want to. So you can choose specific countries, past order count. So if customers order a certain amount of products, you can go for specific collections and other filters. We're just gonna leave it as it is and we are going to click on next. From here, we can actually set up the offer itself. So what are the customers actually going to receive? So you can see you've got the milestone here, if cart value. So you can go for cart value or item count. I recommend to go for cart value. So if the cart value is over a certain amount, you can offer the customer a free gift. So you could say if cart value is greater than or equal to, and then you can go and enter in the amount. So in this instance, we are going to say, let's just say 20 pounds. I'm going to keep it small because some of the products on this specific store have quite low values. So I want to actually show you that the offers are triggered, but I would recommend to put something slightly higher to increase your average order value. So something like $50. So if they spend $50, they get a free gift. So now you've got the first reward. You can choose free shipping, customer reward, or free gift. So if we choose free gift, and now we can select the free gift. From here, you can choose the specific product that the customer will receive as a free gift. So I'm just going to scroll down. I am going to choose this product here and click on add. You can choose the amount of free gifts that they get. So we're just going to leave it as one. And you can also go and add another reward if you want to. So if we click on plus rewards, we could also go and add free shipping, let's say. So if they spend over 20 pounds, they get this free gift and they also get free shipping. Now I think that's slightly too generous. So I'm just going to delete this. You can also add milestones. So if we add a milestone, we can say if the cart value is greater than, let's say 50 pounds, then we can go and add on another free gift. Or for example, they get free shipping for that milestone. So once you've gone and added your milestones, we can scroll down 
If you go to advanced configuration, you can open this. And from here, you will see some design options that you can toggle on and off. So you can go and have a play with these. You can toggle some of them on, some of them off to see which ones you like to use. So we're just going to close this for now. Next up, you can just scroll down and you can go and edit the content. So you can go and edit the text that is shown in your cart progress bar. So I do just recommend to leave this as the default. If you click on show more, you can go and change your milestone reward. So you can see for reward one, mine is a free gift. So I'm just going to change this to free gift like this. For reward two, it's free shipping. So I'm just going to leave it as free shipping. So just make sure that they do match. So now we can scroll down. And next up, you will see the display settings. So again, you can go and edit the design. So you can go for icon or marker. You will see what the difference looks like. And you can go and change this for mobile and for desktop. I'm actually just going to leave it as icon on both of these. And then if you click on edit display and design from here, you can edit the design further. So if you come into fonts, you will see that it has picked up your store's default font. So I do recommend to leave it as your store's default font. So all of the design matches, but you can go and edit these on desktop and mobile if you want to. You can also go and edit the colors. So for example, if I come to title label, I can change the color of this. I'm just going to change this back to black. But of course, you can go and edit these if you want to. If we come back, you can edit the spacing, the text styles, currency and price discount. So if we click on this, you can go and choose before price, after price and the actual currency as well. And you can go and change the reward image if you want to. I'm going to leave everything as the default and click on save changes. Once you have done that, you can click on activate funnel. You will then be brought back to the app dashboard. And if you scroll down, you will see that we have set up our first offer funnel. So next up, we need to enable the app. So we're going to click on enable now. So just make sure the app is toggled on and click on save. Once you have saved that, you can come back to the app dashboard in the other tab. And we're just going to refresh this. And now you will see that the app setup is complete. So now we can actually go and test our first offer funnel, which is the cart progress bar free gift. So we are just going to click on the eye icon to open our store. I am just going to click on shop to come over to one of my products. And now if I scroll down and click on add to cart, and as you can see in the cart slider, because I have added a product over 20 pounds, the free gift has been applied. So it's got a slash through it and it says zero. And then up the top, we have the cart progress bar and the progress bar says you are 10 pounds away from free shipping. And as you can see, we have the free shipping icon. So we've verified that our first funnel is working. We've been able to add a free gift to the cart. So next up, I'm going to show you how you can give customers the option to choose the free gift that they want to choose. So we are going to head back over to the Monk app and we are going to click on funnels. And from here, we are going to click on create new funnel. And with this one, we will see free gift selection. So we're going to click on create new. We are just going to call this offer free gift selection and click on create. From here, you can decide where you want to display this. So if you want to display it on the product page or the cart page, I'm going to choose the product page. Again, you can go and choose your rules. So you've got specific countries, specific products, collections, etc. And then you can also go and apply this to a specific product. So instead of saying equals anything, you could say contains any and then select a specific product. So if you wanted to apply a free gift only to this product, we can go and choose this product. However, if you want to apply the free gift to all of your products, you can just leave this as equals anything. You can scroll down and you can schedule the time for the free gift funnel to kick in. I'm just going to leave it as the default, which means it kicks in straight away. And then we can click on next. From here, we can go and choose the gift that we want to use as the free gift on our product page. So I am just going to go and add this product as the free gift and click on add. And you can go and add additional free gifts if you want to. So if you wanted to have two free gifts, for example, I'm just going to leave it as one. Again, if you click on advanced configurations, you can go and toggle on and off some extra design options. So for example, show a separate add button inside the widget, show variant selector and things like this. And then you can decide if you want to redirect the customer to the cart or stay on the same page. I'm just going to click stay on the same page. We can scroll down and we can edit the content. 
So if we click on show more, you can go and edit the title, the label, the add to cart button, and also the loader label and things like this. You can also go and edit the free gift product name if you want to. I'm going to scroll down and now from here, we can go and choose some extra design options. So we can go for checkbox, line vertical. So you'll see it like this. You'll see line, you'll see compact, and we have larger image. I'm going to go for checkbox. You can also go and edit this on a mobile as well. So I do recommend to go for checkbox because it does look the best because a customer can simply just tick the box to add the free gift. And then if you click on edit display and design, again, you can go and change the fonts, colors, spacing, textiles, currency price and discount. I'm going to leave all of this as the default like I did before and click on save changes. And now again, we can click on activate funnel. Once we have created that free gift funnel, we now need to add it to our product page. So we are going to come to online store. We are going to click on customize, navigate to one of your product pages. So I am just going to click on shop. And once you are on your product page, we can add the monk app widget, which will allow us to display our free gift. So where we have template, we are just going to scroll down. I'm going to click on add block under my product description. So we'll click on add block, come to apps, and you will see monk free gift. So just choose this. As you can see, it will say monk free gift widget will be displayed here. I'm actually just going to drag this above my buy buttons. So now we will see the free gift just underneath the quantity selector of the original product. So they're going to select their free gift and then they can click on add to cart. So we are going to click on save and now we can click exit to our Shopify dashboard. And now we can go and open our online store. I am going to navigate to my product page. And now if we scroll down, we can see that we have this choose your free gift widget. The customer can go and choose the variant for the free gift that they want. And they can click this checkbox. And now if I click on add to cart, and now if I scroll down, you can see that we have that free gift selection free gift. Now for the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automatically add a free gift to your customer's cart. So if we come back to our Shopify dashboard, we can come to apps and we can click on the monk app. And now we are going to click on funnels. We are going to click on create new funnel. And for this funnel, we're going to choose free gift auto add. So click on create new. We're just going to call this offer auto add free gift and click on create. Again, you can set the offer rules. So for this one, I'm going to choose contains any and I am going to choose a specific product. So I am going to choose this product here and click on add. Once again, you can set the schedule and time zone for the offer and click on next. Now we can choose our free gift. So I'm going to click on select products. For this one, I am just going to choose this one as the free gift that will be automatically added. So we're just going to click on add. Again, you can set the advanced configurations. So I am just going to leave this as the default. And now I am going to click on activate funnel. Now, in order to test this auto add free gift funnel, I am just going to temporarily disable my other offers. So we have free gift selection and cart progress. I'm just going to temporarily disable both of those. And now we are going to come over to our product page. And now if I scroll down and click on add to cart, as you can see that auto add free gift has been added to the cart. So now if we click on checkout, you will see that the free gift has been automatically added. So the customer can automatically see that free gift at the checkout, which is going to help with your conversion rates because they get an extra free gift with their product. Now, those are the main funnels that you can use in order to add a free gift to your Shopify store. However, if we do come back over to the Monk app and we do click on funnels and then you click on create new funnel, you will see that there are loads of other features that you can use with this app to increase your average order value, such as cart cross sales, product page cross sales, post purchase upsells, shipping protection, quantity breaks, and all of these types of things. So I also recommend to check out some of the other funnels that you can set up on your store. But for this particular tutorial, we're just focusing on adding free gifts to increase your conversion rate. Now, if you come over to the analytics, your analytics will show you how your offers are performing. So you can see your offer views, you can see the revenue, 
you can see the gifts that you've given away, the milestones achieved, and all of these types of things. If you come over to translation, from here, you can translate your offers if you're running your stores to different countries. And if you come over to settings, from here, you can update your settings, such as your billing plan. Now, of course, if you do get stuck at any point, you can contact the Monk app support by clicking on support. And you can simply just fill out this form and they will be able to help you with any problems that you may be having with the app. So there you have it. That is how you can start adding free gifts to your Shopify stores to increase your conversion rate. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.